Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. I'm going to attempt to feed the, the Rufus Beak Snake. Which is a very touchy twitchy snake, very skittish. Oh, except when it comes to chicks. Now you can't take that under there, you like Mr. Brown would. You know, people want to see you. The problem is that he freaks out very easily. Just eat your chick. No one's going to kill you. Go ahead. Boy, you see a skittish guy. You want a little snack, huh? Do you want a little snack? Hmm? Hmm? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's why ball pythons get eaten by mice and rats. <laughs> Hi, Pinky. I see you. Oh, Pinky likes those. How's he uh, doing? Well, he's struggling with it. He had to reposition it a couple of times. Seems to be getting it down now. Okay. Do that one. Oh, he's finished. Okay. You got it. You know these are, are rear fangs, of course. Um, No one really knows a whole lot about the venom. Uh, I know one person who was bitten by one. Uh, he had a swollen arm and hand all the way up to his armpit. But it just cleared the system the next day. 
Uh, didn't go to the hospital, didn't see a doctor, so we don't know what uh, what that did to his physiology. But, you know, murfang snakes have a powerful bite. They have that very long pair of fangs. I would not want to be uh, bitten by them. escaping, you are going to be a problem. Hey. You spilled your water. How nice. Fighting yourself, you stupid constrictor. <laughs> he is fighting himself. Don't eat yourself. Eat the chick. There you go. Wow. Did he get you? No. Uh. He was trying. Or, well, he was thinking there was food. Hello. Would you like this? You would. Okay. Oops. Oh, lights off time? Yep. I guess that's all we'll uh, we'll shoot. Come on, you're gonna eat it. I know. I see it. Oh. Come on. Come on, mom. First doesn't work. Open its mouth. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There ya go. Alright, let her, uh, well, you can watch her if she doesn't get too disturbed and. I don't know how you can eat moving backwards away from what you're trying to eat, but they seem to accomplish it. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, hey, where's mine? Yep, oh, easy, Mom. Oh, you eat, you eat rodents, so you'll get a rodent. Mom? All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What was that? Annie Oakley's not the only one that can shoot wild. Come on. 
Come on, these are the last of the geckos for a while. Yeah. Come on, I'm giving you to you in the right order. <laughs> you little doo doo brain. Come on. How often do you find a gecko that wants to jump in your mouth? Yeah. Well, after all that, there you go. These things aren't so dangerous for adults, though it would ruin your day, but uh, they seem to have a rather potent uh, nephrotoxin uh, that causes uh, renal failure in, in small kids. Uh, you can imagine if your toddler is out and about and steps on one of these, uh, uh, size-wise proportionately, that's a big snake that bit them. And uh, can have some serious side effects from these little guys. And believe me, they don't hesitate in snapping and biting. What are you doing? Huh? No, I don't have any food. And there's the big bruiser. Come on, dude, you're really making me uncomfortable. Do you want to come out? Oh, now you, uh, now your tail says no. Well, I was coming out, but I just would rather do it on my own. Huh? Come on. Oh, what are you piggybacking? <laughs> what the hell is this? Snake train. Come on, you can come out and hang there. Behave yourself. How you doing? Huh? No, I don't have any food. You're gonna check out my leg too? You're gonna check out my leg?
No, nothing smelling like rodents there, huh, bud? Yeah, I wish these were much more available in, in the venomous hobby because although they're a highly toxic cobra, um, they're very, uh, very reluctant uh, to use it uh, in a defensive manner. Uh, certainly, uh, the most danger uh, of keeping them, you know, comes in the, uh, uh, the form of, you know, a feeding bite which would be, you know, pretty wet. But other than that, these are, uh, are quite uh, easy going cobras. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, they're not terribly available. Hey bud, how you doing? You've got retained eye caps too, huh? I know. As you can see, the elapids are uh, much easier to, uh, to get them to the point where they're calm. Mostly the vipers and the pit vipers, uh, when you take them out, uh, those guys work on reflex and instinct uh, more than thinking about it. You know, you just have to... Remember, they're ambush predators. These are active predators. They forage for food. And if there's no food or no scent of feud, feud, uh, food, um, you know, they're not in, uh, in eating mode. Uh, uh, they are fairly curious. And, and speak of, uh, you know, uh, they do watch what's going on in the room. Take Kermit, for instance. He's like, what the hell? How come I can't come out? You know, everybody, people don't believe it, but these, uh, you know, snakes can, <laughs> can exhibit jealousy, uh, certainly when food's involved. Now, come on. Why must you uh, try to climb on me, huh? These are front fanged elapids uh, and quite toxic. Uh, their venom is nicely neutralized by uh, Samir. Like I said, they're, they're even more friendly than uh, the, the infamous rear fanged uh, false water cobra. <laughs> Mrs. Viper Keeper doing water culbra cam and it's like, hey, I want to climb on her too. What a beautiful snake. Mm. They're really, really beautiful. Yeah, I mean, they're they're beautiful as far as you can, uh, you know. I mean, looking at them, but their skin texture is just so slick. It's so they can uh, move through the water uh, without creating too much uh, turbulence and stuff. Now, oh, come on. Now, I've worked with snakes long enough to know that. They can decide in a heartbeat that, ooh, this smells tasty, and then try mm -hmm. to take a bite out of it. I've, I've seen that. I've experienced it. Uh, so I try to keep their head off of me. Uh, and when I touch them, you know, I'm watching for 
uh, any sign of hood flaring or posturing and stuff, uh, eventually uh, it will get uh, tired of me not letting it go where it wants to go, and that apparently is on me. But I think it's it's time for you to go back in your cage. And then, no biting, no biting. Now they have a conical scale too, like the forest cobra, but they don't use it. At least haven't on me. What, you want to come out? No, you don't want to come out. Huh? You don't want to come out. You can see those uh, eye caps. Yeah, yeah.